I've always believed that art, visual arts, performing arts, they somehow make us all a little bit more civil, a little more humane. They really make us a more intelligent people. My name is Carter Q. I am adult services librarian here at Stanford L. Warren Branch Library. Stanford L. Warren Branch Library really has its origins in the basement of the White Rock Baptist Church in 1913. By 1916, we uh, moved, to a, moved to a wood frame building on the corner of Fayetteville and Pettigrew Streets, and that was in about 1916. At the time, the library was um, uh, called the Durham Colored Library. The Stanford L. Warren Branch Library, in our current building, named after Dr. Stanford L. Warren, who was a uh, African-American physician here in Durham and who was responsible for donations of the land or the money for the land that this current building sits on. Uh, we talk about uh, art coming to Stanford Warren Branch Library. 1944, the librarian at, at the time, Selena Wheeler, and her, her husband, John Wheeler, who was on the board for the Durham Colored Library, of course, at the time. They um, had thought about bringing an exhibit of Negro art here to Stanford Warren Library. John Wheeler, who went to college at Morehouse and also was very connected with uh, Atlanta and the things that were taking place in Atlanta, knew about the exhibition of works by Negro artists formerly called the Atlanta Art Annuals that had been started at Atlanta University. And at that time, the uh, president of Atlanta University was Rufus Clement. So, you know, we have Clements who are here in Durham, and there's a connection between the Clements who are here and, and Wilder, et cetera. So they decided that they wanted to bring uh, works by Negro artists uh, to Durham. So I, I would say that was probably the uh, beginning of this correlation or relationship between art and Stanford L. Warren. One of the things that I noticed, and not only here, but in many other places as well, that you know, many people, they have no access to artwork. They, they, they don't go to museums. Uh, they may not have the opportunity to go to a museum or to a gallery or to have any interaction with artists. So um, based upon what took place in 1944, uh, when hundreds of people, hundreds of people came to Stanford Warren Branch Library to see this wonderful collection of works from the Atlanta Art Annuals, I thought we might be able to do something similar and to carry on that tradition but uh, in order to do that, we needed to have, we need to have artwork that went just beyond our, our white walls in this building. 